Let me make an introduction of 4G RTU S475. First of all, we need to install a USB driver on the computer. Open the configuration software after USB driver installed. The serial port in configuration software is the same as it's shown on computer when we install the USB driver. If there is no serial port, then please refresh till it shows. The default password is 1234. You can choose normal SIM card or IoT M2M SIM card, but IoT M2M card does not support call or send text. Most of the customers use normal SIM card. Check the settings of normal SIM card option. It is the version of configuration software. Here are import and export configuration file. Factory reset and help. In basic setting, you can change the password and synchronous machine time. The device ID is used when our device as mod bus slave or connect to the server. Next is the model number and version. The device description is useful when you need SMS alarm. SM is the unique ID of device. When the device firmware needs to be upgraded, we can provide upgrade firmware according to the model, firmware version, and the SM code, then users can upgrade it by themselves. Here are some options of SMS alarm, such as add timestamp to alarm, arm automatically when power on, and the period to automatically arm after disarm. The device will not trigger any alarm if it is in the disarmed state. When it is in arm state, the state of DI changed, like normally open changed to normally closed, the alarm will be triggered. The following is an addition to the text message. You can add SMS content according to your need, such as power status, temperature and humidity value, the status of analog input, TC. You will receive this content when it is reporting regularly. You can add 10 mobile phone numbers to receive text messages or alarm information. You can choose these options, such as send a message when the device power on. And please remember to add the country code in front of the number when filling in the number. For example, add a China mobile phone number. First, add 0086 in front of it. Next, check out the output setting. There are two modes. One is open door. Another one is switch on or off. When you choose open door mode, use the authorized number to dial the SIM card in the device and let the relay of the device close for a period of time so that to open the door remotely. When you choose switch mode, then you can control the digital output by SMS command or cloud platform.
The time when the user is allowed to control the device can be selected. You can choose a period to allow the user to control the relay or open the door according to your needs. Or you can choose always allowed. Let's check the digital input setting. There are some options. First is disable and normal open, normal close, change, and counter. If you choose normal open, when it close, you will receive alarm. On the contrary, if you choose normal close, when it open, the alarm will be triggered. And you can set the content of alarm SMS and recovery SMS. If you choose change, once the status of digital input changed, the alarm will be triggered. The alarm act time means only when the states changed more than this time, it will be treated as a true alarm. The 24 hours means the RTU will send an alarm no matter it is in arm or disarmed mode. If you use it as a counter, then you have to set the initial value and max value. The alarm will be triggered when the counted value reaches to the limit. Next is DI alarm setting. Choose send SMS or dial to which authorized numbers for each channel of DI. There are two parts of analog input setting. First is temperature and humidity. RTU can connect to AM2301 sensors to read temperature and humidity value. You need to set threshold value, SMS content, and the alarm act time. The act time means only when the value changed more than this time, it will be treated as a true alarm. Next are six channels analog input. Support 0 to 5 volt, 0 to 20 milliampere, 4 to 20 milliampere. When the mode selected, it needs to be matched with the dip switch on the device. And then set the SMS content, minimum and maximum value. For example, the range of your temperature sensor is minus 50 to 200. Then you enter the value according to the range. You can choose different mode for each channel according to the sensors. The setting of AI alarm is the same as DI alarm. Choose send SMS or dial to which authorized numbers for each channel of AI. This is cycle timer. Let the RTU perform an action at a certain time. For example, let the RTU upload data at 12 o'clock every day. If the RTU already connect to the cloud platform, then you do have to use this function because the cloud platform is always connected with the RTU. You can see what actions can be performed here. The RTU can perform different actions at different times. In periodic timer, you can enter the interval time according to your needs, and the RTU will take action according to the interval time.
Next is logic trigger. It means one event trigger one action. For example, when DI0 alarm, the DO0 will close. When DI0 recover, then DO0 will open. This is only for the data point of this RTU. Baylight Technology established in 2005. Customers in more than 190 countries and regions. Specializes in designing and manufacturing industrial IoT gateways, edge computing gateways, industrial IO module, 4G industrial routers, TC. Making IoT an automatic.